We want to come and shock the world this year, and we want to win leagues, and we want to win sectionals, and it starts by this game. The game Devin is referencing is the one coming up on Tuesday, February 4th, between Jamesville DeWitt and East Syracuse Manoa. The rivalry already featured a nail-biting finish the first time these teams squared off. It's a big matchup. They, they beat us last time by, by two, as you said, and um, we're definitely coming in and we're working as hard as we can to try and get back at them and win. Two free throws with five seconds left and a steal by Nate G. Cook sealed the two-point victory for the Spartans. And now the two teams are ready for the rematch. It's a big game for us. Uh, JD, as you know, is the ESM's rival and it's at our home turf and we're ready to put on the show. We're ready to go. They'll be ready to play. Fun game, good high school game to go to. JD will be hungry. After they had their worst offensive performance of the season, the first time the Spartans and the Red Rams met up. I think we were a little selfish with the ball, so we've been working on our ball movement and running our offensive sets a little bit better and a little more disciplined. And I think with that, hopefully we'll put up more than 47. The Spartans were able to slow down the tempo and hold JD's leading scorer, Peyton Shumpert, to 15 points, something they will try to replicate on Tuesday. We want to limit how many times he has a chance to shoot. So, you know, we held the ball a couple times. Not that we necessarily wanted to, but just they played good defense too, Thir you know, 30, 32 seconds. So it minimized how many chances he had to shoot. What we try to do is take them off the rhythm. So when we play on offense, they're not playing on offense. So we want to take 35 seconds off every time. Jamesville DeWitt isn't necessarily worried about their offense moving forward. For the Red Rams, it all comes down to defense, absolute defense. You just got to, and, and, you know, we held them to 49. We were there and we were in our 3-2 zone. We just, we, we, got, we got beat up. We got beat up in the paint. A big reason for that is ESM's six foot eight center, Nick Peterson. But teams can't just focus on guarding him because ESM has other weapons. They have shooters from the outside. So you, you give up one, you sacrifice the other, you try to take away the inside, and it's going to open up Devin, and it's going to open up Jones to make some outside shots. Teams who look at us and they think they can take us out, it's hard because they can't just take out one player. They got to take out many players. We're, we're a team, we're not, we're not one single player, and that's what's special about us. ESM will look to keep their special season going when they host Jamesville DeWitt on Tuesday night for News Channel 9's Game of the Week. All the action will be streamed live at localsyr.com starting at 645. In Syracuse, Anthony Scott, News Channel 9.